Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode on the Plundercraft server. My name is Minecraft for Days, and today, I forgot I had to record. Mm, yep. So, we are going to do a quick video of working on the Opera House. Uh, it's mo mostly... Uh, I... It's mostly going to be uh, building in the Opera House, helping Pepe with everything. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. Right there. So, let's get started. Wait, who just interrupted? Oh, hello. Hi, hi. <laughs> I came in at the perfect time, too. But hello. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. But hello there, game player. Alright, Pepe. Your base is looking amazing. Um, yeah. <laughs> just cut it out before you could say I'm oh, I cut out before I could say it. What am I going to be helping you with? Oh, well, first, down here. No! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> this video is going so good. <laughs> Alright everyone, so before we actually go into the time lapse, I should probably say what we're going to be building. So, we are going to be building a screen. A curtain, sorry. Uh, now, obviously, the Opera House curtain is much longer, but I only have it this long just to see if it would work. And it does. So, how this system works is this, actually, this redstone here, just these two levers would be backstage. Obviously, we don't have command blocks, but what this does is uh, the curtain drops down. And then after the show is then the show happens and after the show is done a cur another curtain drops down. So how it works is first we have to replenish all the curtains. There we go. So the curtain is there. I only have uh, the re the command blocks here to replace all of the the concrete powder really really easily so I don't have to do it by hand. But here's the curtain and there's chairs and everything here and it it's in the opera house. And it's actually the exact amount of blocks that I need it to be. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's a little bit shorter. So it's actually going to be easier to build. But how it works is we flick this lever. And the curtain then drops. Yep, yeah, I'm just making sure it works. <laughs> and then when the show is over, we press this button. And then we press this lever. And the curtain drops back down. It's really simple for the redstone, but the only hard part is going to be this part. It's going to stick out probably from the opera house. So we're going to have to figure out a way to do that, that it's not going to be really weird. But all it is, is um, when we press this lever, this is the lever that drops the curtain. It activates this. And again, I'm not good at redstone. You guys already know this from all my other videos. But the redstone comes down. Uh, and it activates this here. This powers this. It'll turn off this repeater, which will then turn off all of these pistons, which then all of the concrete powder will drop down onto um, onto torches, and a hopper minecart will pick it up. Obviously, the hopper minecart is full because we don't have anything to make the the concrete go into it. But this will get unpowered, and a little bit later. There's a clock here, so it goes, 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 goes. It takes a really long time to go. It's enough time that the whole curtain can fall down. These then activate, which will then get rid and or hide all of the redstone. So if we flick this lever, when you first look, there was it was open. So this closes it all. So then this is the stage. That's where you sit. And there's no uh, redstone showing. After that, we then have to flick this lever again just because we have to get it to this stage right here. And then we press this lever, which will then drop down all of our concrete powder to do this. So it's a really simple thing, and we're only probably going to have to use it twice, so it's really not going to take too much. But Pepe's going to put his own pattern in it, and it's going to look really, really cool when it comes dropping down, and it'll build a really cool pattern, and it's going to look really good. Alright everyone, that's, um, that's bad. It looks like this video is actually going to be a little bit delayed. 
Um, our internet is having a lot of problems right now, which means we can't connect to Plundercraft. So, uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to come back tomorrow when the internet is back. Oh, never mind. It's all back. Look at that. That was awesome. It came in right in time. So, okay, good. Thank the internet's got gone. I was able to pick up my shulker boxes. I'm going to go get redstone torches, and we'll get into this time lapse. All right, everyone, so this has taken absolutely forever, but I think, I believe I have gotten the first part done. All right, Pepe had some gravel, so we're going to bring this to the top of where that is, and that is how we will tell if this works. When I light this, hopefully all 15 comes down. Let's see. Yes, it worked, it worked, it worked. Okay, okay, that's really good. That's actually really good. So. All right, I got four rows, so now we can just hop down here and see if it works. Oh, that, that took a little bit of damage. I'm going to eat before I continue going. Oh, my, my inventory is full of random stuff. Uh, I wish Pepe would use actual scaffolding instead of diorite. As much as I love you, diorite, you need to move so that I can see if this works. So what we're going to do is we are going to activate this, and we're going to quickly run up because I want to watch this. Oh, I forgot. That won't work. Yeah, I just broke the whole thing, didn't I? Oh, of course. All right. Well, let's fix this and see if it actually works if I do it the proper way. All right. We've got it built. If this doesn't work, I'm going to cry because I need to get off soon. And this is probably all we're going to be able to do in this episode. But are you ready? Let's see if it works. Three, two, one. Yes. It worked! Yes! I can be done now! Oh, that took absolutely forever. Come, Pepe, <laughs> have a seat in the opera house. Sit wherever you like. All right, let me go. Can I go to my balcony? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, my balcony is right beside. Hello, hello. Whoa! What is this monstrosity? This looks amazing! Whoa! No, uh, that is impressive. So, how do you like it? <laughs> uh, no, I thank you so much. Whoa. All right, everyone. That was a very good episode. Thank you, Pepe, for letting me be in this. I didn't do this for you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm raising the price. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can pay it, though. Okay, that's good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Anyways, guys, this is going to wrap up our episode, so I hope you enjoyed. If you have not done so, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button to join Team Up for D. And uh, make sure you hit that like button. That will be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>
the secret word, everyone, to put in the comments to get a heart is diorite rules. <laughs>